Hi everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about the Krebs cycle um, and also the link reaction which is the, um, the reaction that combines the first stage of respiration which is glycolysis to the Krebs cycle. So we're going to look at both of those. So first of all then, what's this overall purpose of the Krebs cycle? Um, well, from glycolysis we end up with pyruvate and pyruvate then is going to get turned into something called acetyl coenzyme A. This is our link reaction. Acetyl coenzyme A then goes into the Krebs cycle, which basically is a combination of reactions which end up um, reforming acetyl coenzyme A. But the main point of the Krebs cycle taking place is to produce hydrogen. So because hydrogen uh, is released from the molecules involved in the Krebs cycle, that means that hydrogen carriers get reduced. So those reduced hydrogen carriers can take the hydrogen over to the electron transport chain. So the link reaction, as we said, starts off with our pyruvate molecule, which is a three carbon molecule. So this has come from glycolysis and it was formed in the cytoplasm. It then moves across into the matrix of the mitochondria and that's, that's where the link reaction takes place. So in the mitochondrial matrix, the pyruvate joins with something called a coenzyme and it's called coenzyme A and it forms acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme A is a two carbon molecule. So as we go from pyruvate to our acetyl coenzyme A, NAD gets reduced. So that means that hydrogen from our pyruvate combines with our NAD. So the pyruvate loses hydrogen. So when the NAD is reduced, that's dehydrogenation. The pyruvate has been dehydrogenated. We can also see that we've gone from a three carbon to a two carbon molecule. That means that carbon has been lost. So carbon dioxide is given off. And what we say is that um, car decarboxylation has taken place. So the pyruvate has been decarboxylated. So this whole thing here, this is our link reaction. The acetyl coenzyme A now goes through to the Krebs cycle. So our two carbon acetyl coenzyme A is going to combine with a four carbon molecule to make a six carbon molecule. When that happens, coenzyme A gets regenerated and is then able to go back to the link reaction so that we're always making more acetyl coenzyme A so that this can just continue. The acetyl group is the two carbon part of the molecule. So the acetyl group comes and combines with our four carbon to make a six carbon and the coenzyme A gets regenerated. Our six carbon molecule then becomes a five carbon molecule, which means that again we've lost carbon. So this is decarboxylation, which means carbon dioxide is given off. Our five carbon molecule then also is decarboxylated, carbon dioxide removed, and we get back to our original four carbon molecule. So this has been regenerated, which means it can combine now with more acetyl coenzyme A and the cycle can continue. When we go from our six carbon to our five carbon uh, molecule, carbon dioxide is given off. So there's decarboxylation, there's also dehydrogenation. So more NAD gets reduced. The same thing happens when we go from our five to our four, but this time two molecules of NAD get reduced and one molecule of FAD, so a different hydrogen carrier, get reduced. So as we go around the current Krebs cycle, we're producing one, two, three molecules of reduced NAD and one molecule of reduced FAD. So they are all going to go to the electron transport chain so that they can um, give their hydrogen to the electron transport chain so that it can um, do oxidative phosphorylation. 
the only other thing that's produced here is one molecule of ATP when our five carbon molecule goes to our four carbon molecule. Um, you also need to know the name of uh, some of these. So the four carbon molecule that we start off with is called oxaloacetate. And the six carbon molecule is called citrate. Uh, we don't need to know about this. And actually this, this part here, going from the six to the four like this, going this way round, um, is actually a bit more complicated. There are several steps. Um, but what I've shown you here in this slightly simplified form is all you need to worry about. Okay, that's it. Thank you.